Hello everyone. I'm going to do a quick review for you just in case you forgot how to use the unit circle. So all you really need to work with is the first quadrant and then on each of the axes. Remember that the points go alphabetically CS so it's cosine then sine. So if you're looking for the cosine of pi, cosine would be your first value, so cosine of pi would be negative 1. Now for these angles here, they go for 30, 45, and 60. Or in radians, pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3. Every one of these is over 2. So we bring up those values here. Everything's over 2, and all you have to remember is you go up 3, 2, 1, and then you come down 3, 2, 1. Those are your numerators, and they're all square roots. So if I asked you to find sine of 4 pi over 3, well, it's over 3, so that means it's going to be this angle right here because the denominator is 3. Sine would be your second one. It goes cosine, sine. So it's going to be square root of 3 over 2. And now you have to decide which quadrant it's in to determine if it's positive or negative. So 4 over 3, that's 1 and 1 third. Just in case you forgot for radians, each quadrant's a half. So you're at 0, 1 half, 1. Down here, 1 and a half. So we've got 4 over 3. That's 1 and 1 third puts us in this quadrant. So in this quadrant is sine positive or negative. Well, sine is y. It's y over r. y down here is negative, so that would make this a negative value. Just in case you can't remember what's positive in which quadrant, you may have heard this in a previous class. But I say all students take calculus. So in this quadrant, all of them are positive. In the second quadrant, sine is positive. In the third quadrant, tangent is positive. And in the fourth quadrant, cosine is positive. So if you were looking to find cosine of something and can't make fun of my handwriting it's tough to use a laptop mouse to write with let's go with cosine of 5 pi over 6. all right denominator is 6 that puts us right here cosine is your first one so again it is square root of 3 over 2 and now you determine which quadrant it's in to decide if it's positive or negative. So your fraction is 5 over 6. Remember, this is 1 half, this is 1. Well, 5 over 6 is in here, it's in between. The only thing positive in this quadrant is sine, so that means cosine is negative. So your answer, negative square root of 3 over 2. All right, that's our quick review of using the unit circle. Hope it helped.